Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk and today I'm going to tell you about my exoskeleton strapping system for my Iron Man suit. This is what I've got so far, which is basically a sort of semi-rigid undersuit, which is all made out of plastic strips, some aluminium strips, uh, various straps and things. These are one pound dog leads from the one pound store. It's all pot riveted together with a uh, pot rivet gun. Got a big box of these um, basically blind rivets or pot rivets, which is what's holding all of it together. Um, so basically the plan is that you'll put this on first and then all the pieces of armour will slot onto it. So the plan is going to be that there's going to be some of these which are basically, they're actually feet for hi-fi equipment um, but the plan is I'm going to make some moulds from these and cast up some plastic ones and these are going to be fitted all over the, all over the undersuit in various locations and each one is going to have the end drilled out and fitted into the end is going to be a very strong magnet so I've got a stack of ten here I've actually got north and south poles which stick together it's actually a set of ten, actually really hard to get apart. They've actually got a countersunk hole in the end. So if you can imagine that being fitted onto the end, but actually fitted in properly. And then on the inside of the armour, so if we just grab a piece, it's going to be the opposite. So I'm going to stick some of these into a lump of clay to make a tapered socket and then cast those in plastic so on the inside of the armour they'll lock in and the inside socket will have the opposing magnet screwed into it so basically all of these pieces will latch on with magnets all over the suit and latch to each other like the front and the back will be held together with magnets and all of the pieces of the armour are going to fit on with these plugs and sockets so in some cases there isn't quite space so if we take, for instance, the pelvis section, it's actually quite a tight fit. But of course the magnets stick to metal anyway. So I can mount one into the belt of the suit, and then I can just have a piece of steel or something, a, fer a ferrous metal inside, and obviously those magnets are going to stick to it fine. Maybe with just one locating peg in the middle somewhere. I'm not sure if that's a good place for it. So just sort of locate it, and then the rest will be held on with magnets. So on here I've got, by the way the mannequin isn't the shape of my body, it's, this thing sits far better on me than it does on here. Um, and these straps are straight, it's got rather big hips this one. So um, obviously these straps, which are, these are the dog leads, come down to the next section which will be the legs. So there'll be a thigh and a shin piece which will be hinged at the knee. And if I grab one of my shins that I've cast, those will be split in half, probably down one of the seam lines um, on each side. So those can come together front to back on the shins and the thighs so that the pieces can come front to back. And those again will be held on with probably a couple of these each attached to the thigh piece and so on. So it all seems rather overkill. Obviously you could just strap, um, attach the straps between the rigid pieces of armour and then just sort of wear them and then um, and everything else as normal as you normally would but the basic um, advantages are that it makes it really easy to get the suit on and also to get it off so if you're dying of heat exhaustion in your heavy suit in your heavy um, hot suit or it catches on fire or something happens then it basically means someone can get the armor off just by pulling the pieces and pulling the magnets away and it also means that um, I can build a machine which places the pieces, which is the eventual aim, just almost like in the movie. Not quite as good as that, but it, basically if the pieces are easy to just place, and that's why I'm using these tapered pegs, so that they locate really easily and latch on, then it should be fairly trivial just to make a machine with several sliding elements um, that slide the pieces into place, with a little latch that releases with a servo maybe to leave it there. So. Um, have to watch out for that in the future. 
but I will say I've been doing this project for nearly two years so maybe in another two years I just wanted to quickly show how this goes together obviously the one pound dog leads have these handy catches um, there we go and there's obviously loops they attach to the rest of this is just velcro which holds the pieces and they're actually um, I've got some of these hex faces which are just bolted on to each piece there so these uh, flexible pieces that have holes in that latch on and the velcro holds it in place but obviously when it's um, held in place it's you can't move it in that direction so that's the same for all these pieces and then this piece has some hinges at the shoulders So it hinges up and you can get it in on and off quite easily. So to do those up, you just need to put them there. There we go, and just do those up. Hook those on. So basically the idea is you can put this suit on, one person can do it. And then all the rigid pieces um, latch on really easily. So the arms there have got some pieces which will again have the magnetic latching system and another one for the shoulder piece. Because typically the arms of armour like this are quite hard to get on by yourself purely because once the chest is on you can't reach across to the opposite shoulder very easily. So this will um, hopefully allow you to grab the arm by the sort of cuff and push it onto your arm and then it will latch into place with the pegs and magnets. And there's some more pictures of this on the website. If you look at the link in the description, there's uh, the progress of building it and all of the uh, description about the motivation for doing it.